Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Tutorials. My name is Jelger, and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, have uh, different photos overlap each other, blend them together or mix them. We will start with the Black Panther here. Well actually what we want is we just want to have the nose, a bit of the face and the eye visible, uh, maybe some parts of the cheek, but we want to have a black background with the Black Panther visible. So it's not really a picture taken in the zoo, but it's that really cool picture you can hang on the wall as a poster. Well, let's get started. At first, of course, we will make a new layer from the background, because we don't want to work in the background layer. Now, there is the background copy. Let's call it Panther. And now what we want to do is we want to uh, make this disappear. So, we create a new layer, and this layer, we're going to fill it with the darkest color we can find in this image. We're not going to fill it with just regular black, because that will be different color. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the eyedrop tool, and then you make sure you're in the layer of the panther, and you just take a sample of what you think is the darkest part. I think it's over there. So now... You're back to the layer uh, you want to use to fill with the background color. You just go to the bucket and there you go. Now the layer is all black. Well, you know, the black you would like to use. Let's go back to the panther. The panther will be adjusted by using a mask to make the parts you don't want to see invisible. So let's create a mask. Make sure right now this black is, you know, the black you selected. So just click on this, turn it back. Uh, make sure you have a really black brush and you're going to brush into the mask layer because as you know, everything that's behind black is not visible and everything that's behind the white part of the mask is visible. So here we go. Take a brush, just uh, opacity 100, flow 100 and we'll take a soft brush for starting. That's great. And just brush, 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 brush. And as you see, I'm not brushing in the image. I'm brushing in the mask. Okay, just, you know, st stay near the edges. Of course, I don't want it to overlap. This is too much, but I don't like the, the hard edge here either. So let's take another opacity. I just put it somewhere at the half uh, the opacity, that's fine. And now, you know, just start brushing and you actually you draw on the line. And, you know, just do this as much as you like. To make the hard edge you don't like to disappear. Alright, it's great. So right now we have a nice blended panther head. But still, I don't really like that because it's uh, it's really just a normal panther. And what I like to see is more like uh, maybe with a bit of blue. So I'm going to make an adjustment layer and you find it over here and you choose levels and now you have a layer and with a level and automatically it has a mask. You can also find it here in the layer and on new adjustment layers and it's basically the same options. Good. Now for this actually you don't really have to do much. You can choose to maybe adjust some of the colors here but i just leave it at this and i just choose overlay now you see it's really cool and it has that bluish kind of you know the panther it's more dark and more mysterious you can also choose to use for example hard light and you won't really see a difference or maybe some soft light you see a bit of difference and well actually you can play with this as much as you want with different options but for now I will just go to overlay and you can of course adjust the opacity a bit or maybe you know brush a bit more 
in this layer, but I think the panther is great now. So let's go to the second option, or the second way you can use to have images overlap each other. Now here's a picture of Dresden, Dresden in Germany. This is the Basilique, and I actually want to have a few planes, and then I mean this. These planes, I like them to fly from behind the Basilic. So what am I going to do here? At first, I'm going to adjust the size of the planes in a size that that's okay. That's that's nice. That's how I believe it would be. Now, there you go. And let's see how that will look in the opacity mode. Okay, that's great. Now, basically, what you will do here is you go to the and you find that behind the bucket, the paint bucket tool, you find the gradient tool. Now, in this gradient, again, you make a mask. And now you're going to paint with the gradient. Make sure black is the foreground color and white is the background color. And basically what you do is you draw a line like this. And you can try drawing a few lines. You know, you can draw it that way. You can draw it that way. Now we have uh, drawn a line here. And as you can see, right now the planes are coming from the back. and still you can also see the background because you know the black that covers the the picture uh, you're using and the white makes it visible all we want to do right now is we take a soft brush with a low op opacity and maybe make it a bit bigger and there you go that's just paint black in the mask again Make the edges disappear. And there it is. Maybe make it a bit smaller. The square brackets open and close is making the brush bigger and smaller. So you can bring some of the color back here. And there it is planes coming from behind the basilic really cool isn't it the third option and this is basically a normal option a really fun option is we're going to mix the foggy san francisco we have this picture here with the brooklyn bridge so now that's a strange combination but it's going to be fun and also this picture is taken more from the top and this more from down below up, but that's okay because we want to have the bridge going over the San Francisco area. Now let's start same uh, ID. We're going to make a mask in the Brooklyn Bridge area. Make sure you have the overlay. And as you can see now, if you choose for this, you can see the picture, you know, going from the, the San Francisco coming from visible to invisible, but it, it's getting, you know, it's going too high. I just want to have the, the water line. So here, so about here, you know, I want to use the picture of the Brooklyn Bridge. So let's just maybe start drawing here. If you start drawing here, that means everything below will be 100% visible because it's, you know, it's full black over the area. So now let's start brushing here to make things disappear. Make sure the black is up front. And now you just select a brush, choose for a normal opacity, 100%. You can take a soft brush, of course, or maybe with a bit more of hardness so and there you go isn't it fantastic
Oh, you know what? Maybe this is going to be a bit of a strange area, but that's okay. You know, we just create an edge of buildings. And I think we're going to change this into a boulevard. Now oh, that should be fun. Because it means we're going to show the river over here and we're going to make that look as if it's a lake or something. Change the brushes, go to white. Just brush in it. And at the top you can use normal brush, but down here we might want to choose a complete soft brush. Make it a little bit a little bit bigger. And there you go. Maybe some of the trees at the end will disappear in the way they are visible now, but that's okay. There you go. Of course you have to maybe make some more work of it than I'm doing, but this is of course just for an example. Now let's choose the black again and let's start painting over the buildings here to make sure where it's all very visible. Let's make the brush a bit bigger. This is perfect. Now this is of course a bit strange, so uh, let's take a 100% opacity. And I'm going to make some kind of uh, tunnel going under the bridge. Uh, let's, you know, with the, with the arc. There it goes. Make it a bit softer again. And there the road goes under the bridge now. I think this is uh, really fun. It looks a lot like what I'm intending to be painting. Okay, I think this is how it must be. Of course, you can work on your image a lot more, right? but for me, it's just to show quickly how you can um, change an image, how you can blend and create an overlay easily, just to give the impression that two pictures are actually one. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was useful. If you like it, of course, I'd love to see a like. And if you want to see more of my tutorials, then subscribe and you will see every update. Thank you for watching and till next tutorial.